All right, today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my tincture that I make for diabetes. So I know a lot of people that are struggling with diabetes. So I did some research and I came up with two great herbs that can help fight it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you guys how I make the tincture. So first I'm going to start off, you're gonna need your mason jar. You're gonna need your sage incense. I'm gonna use the Janima powder. I think that I am pronouncing that correct. Okay, family, you're also gonna need a turkey baster. And we're gonna do, we're gonna be using the bilberry herb, which is also really good for diabetes. So you're also going to need your towel, your dish towel, and you're going to need your crock pot and any just water, which you can get this just from the sink. It doesn't really matter. So we're gonna start off. Okay, so first what I always like to start off doing is cleansing my jars. Anything that I make, I always cleanse the jar. Um, it's already washed out and clean, but to cleanse any kind of energy or any just things that you want, you don't want, wherever. We don't know where this jar came from. You know, I got it from Amazon, which the jars that I use will be linked in the description box. Um, pretty much everything I got was from Amazon except for the vodka. You're also gonna wanna use some vodka and you're gonna want it to be at least like 80 proof. It could be 70 proof. Um, I usually use Everclear um, because then when you're using Everclear, you can do half and half. You can like dilute it and it can be like, one cup of water, one cup of vodka. And so it kind of stretches and it lasts longer. But um, this is what I have left for my other tinctures. So this is what we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna light this sage incense. Now I'm gonna be making two tinctures, two jars of this. But I'm just going to show you guys how to do this one. So this is how I cleanse it. Get the smoke out. Let that sit. All right. I'm going to do this one because I'm going to do this one later. And I'm also going to be making some sea moss gel later. So I'm going to do this one too. All right. So I'm going to put that out. So. I'm gonna take the bilberry. That's what ooh, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna take the jar, kind of mush it up. And I'm just gonna scoop it in here. And I'm gonna do like I say, I'm not gonna do half. I'm gonna fill the herbs up to like one fourth of the jar. And to get it down, you're gonna wanna kinda hit it. So it does that, make it even. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more just to even it out. All right, so that's what that's gonna look like. Now I'm gonna add this, the Dyneema powder. Right here. All right, so now we got the Glynema powder. I'm going to open this up. I suggest using scissors so that you do not cut yourself. And I'm going to take this spoon. Just gonna put it in here. We want it to be the same amount as the bilberry powder. Okay. 
don't mind my nails i'm working on a new set okay so i'm gonna do a little bit more just to even it out all right so that's what it's looking like so it's pretty much like one fourth of herb so these are the two herbs and so it's right there like that now i'm gonna take this vodka and i'm gonna pour it in here All right, and you can fill it up a little bit more, but I'm not going to because this is pretty much all the vodka that I have left now. So I'm just gonna have less of a tincture that I would usually have. Um, I'm gonna have like less that I'm gonna be able to use. So put that on there tight and you're gonna shake it. That's what it's gonna look like. Okay, you kind of see the change in the color. And what you would do is you would keep pouring and get it all the way to the top and then just keep shaking it because the alcohol absorbs and it makes it go down. It makes it go down to it. So like you can see that and then you can just keep pouring and pouring. So I'm just going to shake this up and then you want to get your towel, fold it. You're going to put this in the bottom of your crock pot because you don't want your jar to burn so gonna put it in the bottom of your crock pot like that you're going to add your water all right i grabbed my water i'm just gonna keep filling it up about there, all right? So now, almost filled, all right? So now I'm gonna put the lid on. Turn it on. You're going to select for it to be on low. And you're gonna to wanna to put it up to 20 hours cause that's as much as this one goes. All the way up to 20 hours. And then you just keep checking on it every day and keep it on low and check your water and make sure that it's filled just like how it was. And you do this for three days, 72 hours keep checking on it making sure that it's done and that the water is filled and that there's still time so every time the time goes down just make it go back up all right thank you so much all right so you're going to want to turn your crock pot on you're going to want to keep it on low and put it up to 20 hours if yours does more then go ahead put it up to more but mine only goes up to 20 hours so every 20 hours i have to make sure that i'm checking it making sure that i'm checking the water and making sure that it still has time on it for three days so you're going to want to do this for 72 hours and then after that's done you're going to want to take it out and let it cool all right so we're going to take our liquid this is what it's looking like we're going to take our bottle and we are going to Squeeze it up. And what I like to do is just put this in there. And just do it like this. It makes it way easier than having to dirty up anything else.
right, so we're just gonna get a little bit more, not too much, because you don't want to fill it all the way to the top, because when you put the dropper back in, it's gonna raise up the liquid. So, a little bit more. Make sure you're tipping it back so nothing spills out. All right, so I'm gonna fill it to there. Put this down. And then I'm just gonna put this in here. Then you're gonna label it. There's your tincture. And you're gonna wanna take recommended dose is about one fourth every four hours of this blend every day. All right, everything I use will be linked in the description box. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe so that I can bring you more content on health and healing. And everything that I use will be linked in the description box. Thanks, bye.